it's Kier here today with another video for you and before you guys even restart the video yes I'm wearing black lipstick let's not get used to it it's something I rarely do um, but today's video is another monthly favorites video I did a March favorites video in a month of March obviously and this is my April favorites monthly favorites video since we are almost done with April and I think I have a lot of new stuff that I think are my, gonna be my an absolute blah, 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 blah. you guys know what I'm trying to say basically <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video so 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 much so to start off I don't really know I'm gonna start with clothes because I only have I have more but like they're being washed right now but this first one is one of my drama club t-shirts which I just love wearing my drama club t-shirts and that's my very first drama club t-shirt from where I did my first play which was Miracle on 34th Street I just I love it um, and I also have my Wizard of Oz t-shirt but it's being washed right now but like my Wizard of Oz t-shirt it's a tie-dye one you guys may have seen it in my bullying video, which I accidentally got, it actually, accidentally got deleted. So, if you guys remember seeing that video, that's the shirt, I, that's what I was wearing. And if you don't, haven't seen that video, then I'm sorry, but I got deleted on accident. And I have no way to recover the video, because it's gone. But, yeah. Um... The my drama club, like the drama club, always gets like T-shirts for like the plays and musicals we do, depending on like what show we're doing. So like this one was like a Christmas play, so it's red and gold, and um you can get this like sent words and stuff on the back of your T-shirt for free. Mine just says Crazy Cure because I didn't really have a part in Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. I was more like an extra. And, like, on the back of my, uh, what is there, Vaughn musical t-shirt, it said, don't be a peekin, because I was a peekin munchkin who, like, went up to the Dorothy's house and, like, looked in the window, because apparently I'm the only munchkin that had the guts to go up there. But, my drama club t-shirts are a favorite of mine, and that's basically all I have for clothes. I'm sorry. Um, what's next? Uh, blah, blah, blah. let's start with makeup because I've got a lot of makeup. Um, so to start off, of course, Beauty Blender, which is really dirty. Oh, yeah, need to clean it, but I'm too lazy to do so. Um, yeah, I love my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. It's just, it's so amazing. Like, point for like getting my under eyes. Uh, I don't really use it how, like, the box says you can use it. I use it how I want to. I use this part for my inner, my under eyes, like a normal beauty blender. And I use this for my actual face. But, highly recommend the Real, Real Techniques Beauty Blender. That way you don't have to spend, like, 20 bucks a month getting another beauty blender from, like, Sephora and stuff like that. Um, next up, mascara. Yeah. They, it's the Benefit They're Real and the Benefit They're the Roller Lash Mascara. You guys know I love these two mascaras. The Benefit They're Real make my lashes look so long, which today I am not wearing either of those for some reason. I don't know why. And the Benefit Roller Lash curls my eyelashes. That way I don't have to use my eyelash curler. And I just dropped it. Well, good job. But, yeah. Highly recommend these two. They're so amazing. I know that I am definitely going to be continuing to use these. And they're definitely going to be in my monthly favorites from now on. Um, next up is foundation and concealer. Uh, my concealer is the Urban Decay. Ooh, that looks white on camera. Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It looks really pale on on camera but I swear it's not when I put it on cause like I put it on underneath my foundation and to get rid of my under eye bags cause I don't get to sleep at night 
I go to bed at like 1 o'clock in the morning, except on school nights. Most of the time it's like 11 o'clock on school nights. And uh, I just love this concealer. Like, some days I'll w just wear this concealer and some days I'll wear content. I won't wear any makeup. Except for like mascara and a crease eyeshadow, <laughs> crease color. And my eyebrows, because eyebrows gotta be on fleek. Not really. And uh, my hair is like wanting to be in my face. Let's put it off to the side. Is that... Um, but this is in the shade Fair Neutral, and, uh, yeah, highly recommend this. I heard a lot of YouTubers talk about it, and it's definitely a great concealer if you guys want to purchase it. Um, next up for foundation is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in the shade 105. I am in love with this one more than my, um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation that you guys have seen, but I haven't used that anymore because it's like I go little bit. I can't even word it. My sentence white, right? Go there. Um, like ever since like winter started, I started getting paler, and my Amazonian Clay Foundation did not match my skin tone whatsoever. So, um, I started using this instead of my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and my. Demon curls are poking out. So that's fun. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, demon curls, it's these things right here that I like to get in my face when in my videos. But yeah, highly recommend this because my tartlet, and, well, not tartlet, oh my gosh. My tart Amazonian clay foundation just doesn't match my skin tone right now because I'm so pale from the winter. But hopefully when like summer comes around and like the, there's sun and no more rain coming around, around I will hopefully get another like more color on my skin. I did that in quotation marks because I am not a person who goes out into the sun during summer. Even though like some people would be like getting tans and swimming and stuff like that. Not me. I prefer staying inside, eating junk food, and playing video games and doing these kind of videos, which I have no problem with. And highlights on fleek, too. Look at that. Um, I am getting way off topic. But yeah, this is definitely a favorite of mine. Um, next up is powder, bronzer, and blush, but I'm going to do that separate, both separately. Powder is the CoverGirl CG Smoothers, and this is the translucent powder in the shade 705. I don't know why it's a sh shade if it's translucent, but whatever. I love this powder. It's such a good powder for, like, on the go and stuff. Like, it has a little mirror. Say hi to yourselves, guys. And, uh, it's perfect for, like, when you're touching, you're on the go, and you're, like, I need to touch on my makeup, because, you know, oily skin. Me. So, you can just bring it. Apparently, I didn't snap it all the way. Um, you can just take this out and touch up whatever you need to touch up. Like, for me, it would be, like, my under eye bags, because my under eye bags are very bad. Um, next up for bronzer is my Holy Grail bronzer, and you guys know this. It's my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm still on the, the little mini size, yes. And I've had this since August last year, and it's April in 2017. I got it in August 2016. You guys know what I mean. Got it in August 2016. It's April 2017, because my birthday is in August, okay? And, uh, it's April the 22nd. So, this thing, like... I have not even hit the pan. I barely made any dents in this thing. Like, look at that. But seriously, though, like, this thing is my holy grail bronzer because I love it. It makes me look, it looks my, it makes me look more defined, chiseled? I don't know the right, the right thing to say for this, but just, ugh, it smells so good, and I highly do recommend a bronzer like this. And this bronzer, if you guys are in Ulta and you guys are, want to get like a good bronzer, I highly recommend, ooh, hair is not looking cute, but I highly recommend this bronzer, it's so amazing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Next up is the, my blush, it's the CoverGirl Cheekers, 
in the shade Classic Pink. <laughs> um, ooh. Uh, but yeah. I don't... Uh, this one's just a... Uh, for me. I think it's just from where, like, I never really wear makeup that much. And, like, my cheeks are naturally red. And so, like, they... My... It, like, my cheeks, like, my redness from my cheeks, like, to poke out from my foundation. So, like, it makes me, it makes me look like I went a little overboard on the blush. It's just, like, I didn't go overboard on blush. It's my natural skin, cheek color peeking through. Does that make any sense? I don't know if it does. Okay, then. But, uh... But if you guys really, if you guys like this, these kind of foundation, foundations, oh my gosh. If you guys like these kind of blushes, I, then I suggest you get them. If you don't, oh well. I'm hoping to update my makeup collection soon, but I don't know. I'm hoping to get like a Tarte or like a Benefit blush and Too Faced blushes and stuff like that. I don't know. Depends on next time when I'm in Ulta. Uh, next up is a like the correct, um, a correcting palette for concealer correcting palette. You guys know what I mean. But it's the Wet n Wild one. It's like for all like the main problem areas. Like yellow, the yellow is for dark under eye bags. Like because it's the opposite of purple on the color wheel. And uh, I'll quote it from the back. Purple and yellow are opposites on the color wheel. So use purple to mm, purple. I cannot read apparently. Use yellow to cancel any unwanted purple spots such as bruises, bruises or under eye circles. Any over, overly yellow spots, never have those. Attack them with purple. Green and red are opposites too. Use green to, on anything. Red, red. Zits, flushes, blemishes, you name it. And white just highlight brightens anything. But I mostly use it for highlight. But that's I forgot to put it on before I did my powder, so I had to use my powder my uh powder highlighter in my uh what's it called? City Color Collection. That's what it's called. Okay. The camera did something weird. I thought it cut off for a second. But yeah. Highly recommend this if you guys are looking for a correcting palette for a cheap price, because these are cheap prices. Uh lip products. First up is the LA Colors Matte lipstick I love this thing it's such a nice neutral shade it may look orange in the bottle but I swear it's not when it's on my lips because it just it's amazing and like the I have more of these matte lipsticks but like they all have like a different scent to them like this one it has like a weird scent to it I can't really describe it but yeah but still, highly recommend this if you're looking for a nice matte lipstick. The next one is the Tarte Lip Cream in the shade Wonder, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's Wonder, but oh my goodness, you guys. Look at the pigmentation on this one. Holy crap. I don't really, like, go to this shade. I mostly, like, put, a, like, I dab it on and then, like, blend it in because I don't want this shade like bright color on me I think that uh like when I dab it on and blend it out with my fingers it's just such a nice neutral shade and the last product which I am actually wearing on my lips today is the wet n wild lipstick by Fergie I can't really read that but I've had it for a while and I never really wear it but unless I'm like doing Halloween stuff and, uh, yeah, in this any shade, pageant, pageant, I don't know how you say it. Because, like, camera's not wanting to focus. I'm wanting to focus on, my, I'm focused on my face. Yeah, you guys can tell. But, holy crap, you guys. This thing is so pigmented. Like, look at that. And you guys are probably wondering, like, why isn't it, why it isn't so pigmented on my lips today? It's because I powdered them down to make it look matte and not, you know, like regular lipstick or shiny and stuff like that. Next up is eyeshadows, which oh, same thing, guys. 
the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette and the Tartlet and Bloom Eyeshadow Palette. And my Tartlet and Bloom's upside down. Just like my last time. Just like in my last favorite video. That did not make sense. But I love these two palettes. I haven't really used the Tartlet and Bloom as much anymore. As much as I, I've been using this more. But I still think like the Tartlet and Bloom is better than the Too Faced Natural Eyes. I just don't really use Tartlet that much. But um, my friend Cheyenne, you guys remember her from my vlog. And with my follow me around with my friends, hopefully. She was the one who she was it was with me, Crystal, and Cheyenne. Um, Cheyenne was the one who was talking about Hillary Clinton. Or was it Donald Trump? It was Donald Trump. I don't know what random. But she was using this palette for when we were getting like we were doing like for before blah 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 blah. When we were getting ready for our school musical. And she's like, hey, Kira, can I use your Tartlet palette the fir for the first night, which was parents' night? And I was like, he asked her, and she's been using it for the rest of the nights, because that's how much she loved this palette. And, uh, there's really not that much of a difference in the palette from last time. Well, except Charmer, I hit the pan, hit pan on that one, but I don't care. And Too Faced, my Too Faced palette, really not that much of a difference. Uh... Which I happen to be wearing Too Faced on my eyes today. Just a crease color. Which is Cashmere Bunny. But, yeah. Uh, what's next? Perfumes. So, for my perfumes, I don't I don't really have that many like I did last time. Um, one of them is the Victoria's Secret Secret Charm perfume. And it has Honeysuckle and Jasmine. And holy cow, you guys. This stuff is so amazing. It's just, uh, I have the lotion of it too, but I haven't really used it that much. That's be lit because blah, 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 blah. Holy cow, you guys. You guys are going to be like, what? I cannot understand it. What is going on with you? Apparently, I am a little bit high off of junk food and stuff like that. Um, I don't really use the lotion that much because, believe it or not, Victoria's Secret is pretty expensive, and I don't know where one is in my area, because my aunt gave me this as a, was it Christmas or a birthday present? I can't remember. One of the two. I think it was Christmas. But, yeah. I'm in love with this scent. Just, uh. The next one is this, it's called Pink Kiss. I don't know where it's from. Because my uncle's girlfriend, and before you guys even say, oh, so technically she's your aunt. No. They are not married. So technically, she is his girlfriend. And so, she's not technically my aunt if they're not married yet. But, I don't know where this is from, like this perfume is from. She, my uncle's girlfriend gave it to me. Um, but it smells amazing. Like, there we go. Smells kind of fruity, actually. You guys want to smell? Smell it. I don't. Not make the camera blurry. I mean, no, I don't think so. Um, yeah. How do they recommend those two perfumes, though? <coughs> I'm about to die from too much perfume spraying. Even though I sprayed one of them, both of them once. Oh, the will. Um, the next thing is like a skincare product. I guess you could say. I don't know. Um, but it's the Bior Free Your Pores Nose Pore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. That's what they're called. Um, I love these things. They work so well. Because for the past month, my nose has not been nice to me. It's been like getting me, giving me blackheads and a uh, giant cavernous pores like Brave Bear Girl. Well, not like Graveyard Girl. Kind of like Graveyard Girl. Blah, 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 I need to calm down for a little bit. Drink some water. That hit my tooth. That hurt. Yeah, I need to cut off the sweets for like a month. Not gonna happen. But yeah, I highly recommend this product. I am like so hyper today, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, highly recommend this. They work so well. 
well, like when you do peel them off like after like 10 minutes it does hurt a little bit but it will be worth it because your nose will feel so like I don't know how to describe it but you guys know what I mean so yeah highly recommend them I've already said that like three times um now it's time for books I didn't do that in my last favorites because I forgot to get them out so, uh, yeah. The first one is called Marie Antoinette. Antoinette? Antoinette? I don't know how you say your last name. I call it Antoinette because that's how I say it. Marie Antoinette, serial killer. Oh my goodness. You guys, this is such a good book. It, it is by Katie Allender. Allender. I got it for my school book fair when I was in middle school. And holy cow, it's so amazing. Uh, hold on, I'll read the back for you. The city of light just got a little darker. Colette Iceland is excited to go to Paris on a class trip. She'll get to soak up the beauty and, beauty and culture and maybe even learn something about her family's French roots. But a series of gruesome murders are taking place across the city, putting everyone on edge. And as she tours museums and palaces, Colette, keep, Colette keeps seeing a strange vision. A pale woman in a ball gown and a powdered wig who looks suspiciously, suspiciously like a Marie Antoinette. Colette knows her popular status obsessed friends won't believe her, so she seeks out the help of a charming French boy. Together they uncover a shocking secret involving a dark hidden history. When Colette realizes herself may hold the key to the mystery, her own life is in danger. Clean art author Katie Allender brings heart-stopping suspense to this tale of revenge, betrayal, intrigue, and one killer queen. This is such a good book. I've heard a lot of reviews about it, and oh my goodness. If your guys' school has this book, I highly recommend you get it. I mean, that is if you guys, your guys' school has book fairs. For me, it was six ninety nine to get, which I thought was a pretty good price. But yeah, highly recommend this book. It's so amazing. Um, the next one is another horror book by the same author who wrote uh, Marie Antoinette, serial killer. It's called Famous Last Words. Hollywood, Hollywood can be murder. And look, like, look at this. Tell me this is not an intriguing book that makes you want to read it. Look me in the eyes and say that then it doesn't. But yeah, like you got a girl in a bed seeing a ghost. Why else is there not to say? Uh, Willa is freaking out. I'll read the back for you as well. Lately it seems she's seeing things like a dead body in her swimming pool, frantic scribbled messages on her walls, a reflection that is not her own. It's almost as if someone or something is trying to send her a message. Meanwhile, a killer is stalking Los Angeles, a killer who reenacts famous movie murders, murder scenes with his victims, pretty teenage girls. I'm not going to be one of them, I can tell you that for sure. Could Willa's strange visions have to do with these unsolved murders? And whom can she confine in? There's Marnie, her new best friend, who may not be totally trustworthy, and there's Reed, who's ridiculously handsome and seems to get Willa. There's also Wyatt, who's super smart but unhealthy obsessed with the Hollywood killer. All Willa knows is that she has to confront the possible ghost in her house, or she might lose, just lose her mind, and if she doesn't untangle the mystery of the Hollywood killer, she might just lose her life. Ugh, you guys, this is such a good book. I've read both of these books in, like, I think, like, two days after I got them. That's how good they are. Like, yeah. I mean, could be worse. I could be showing you guys my Dork Diaries collection. That's all the way over there. I have a majority of the books. Um, the next two are, the, are like, called Sunshine Girl books. The Haunting of the Sunshine Girl and the Awakening of Sunshine Girl. Yeah, yeah. And I have, have yet to read them because I have so many other books I've got to read. But I've never been able to finish. But I, seriously, good luck. Just, my neck was just like pinching the back of my neck. Ooh. But uh, yeah, I've heard a lot of great reviews. Um, there is quite a bit of writing on the back of these books, so I am not gonna read them today. But when I do, my phone's like going off the notification. Shut up! 
It's just... <clears throat> and so, like, when I do get these red, they will be in my next monthly favorites. And it's just, yeah. Um, the next one is just a Ask My Mood Ring How I Feel book by Dina Lopez. Author of Confetti Girl, which book, the book I've never heard of. But it's about this girl named Erica, I think it is. Yeah, Erica. Whose mom ha got breast cancer, so she has to have surgery. And she just can't keep her feelings in check, so she has a mood ring. And a whole lot of drama's going down in, down in a hair. I'll read the back. It's the summer before 8th grade. And Erica, Chica, Monterga, Erica, I can't say the last name. Hold on. That one I cannot say. Uh, is feeling so many things that she needs a mood ring to keep track of her emotions. She's happy when she needs, she hangs out with her friends, the Robins. Don't ask why. She's jealous that her genius little sister can skip the grid. She's passionate about the crushes on her boyfriend wish list. And when she, her mom learns that she has breast cancer, Erica feels worries, worried and doesn't know what she can do to help. Then one day, Erica's family visits a famous church where she discovers El Cuarto de los Milagros, a miracle room, where she decides to make a promesa, which is promise in Spanish from what I heard, to God in exchange for her mother's help. As her mom gets sicker, Erica quickly learns that the juggling, juggling family, friends, and school and fulfilling a promesa is stressful, but with a bit of hope and a lot of love, she might be able to figure it out. And, yeah, highly recommend this book because it's so good. The next one, my phone scared me. I, like, jumped three feet in the air. Um, the next one is The Fifth Wave. Holy cow, I need to move this video because it's already at 27 minutes. It's The Fifth Wave. Wave, what is Um, you guys have probably seen the movie. I haven't, unfortunately. But I highly do recommend seeing, getting the book if you have seen the movie. Or if you haven't, like me. And, it, like, look how thick this is, first off. But I got this for Christmas, I think. Yeah. And it was just such an amazing book. My voice, like, cracked for a second, I think. But it's just such an amazing book. It has all the characters from the movie, which it's been a while since I read this, so I don't remember the... I, all the names to the people so yeah uh, um, you guys probably remember in my last um, monthly favorites that I had some food like Girl Scouts Thin Mints and uh, what was it Rice Krispie Treats that's what they were and as my snacks and today's food item is Pringles because I mean why not Oh, and I just remembered, if you guys do see that I have no, changed my bed sheets, no, my room's not going to be re, um, redone based on my covers. I just wanted to change it. But yeah, these things are so good, but they're almost empty. These were actually my mom's, and she like gave me the rest of them. Because she knows I love Pringles. I mean, who doesn't love chips? I mean, seriously, I'm going to try and get one. Highly recommend them, though. <laughs> oh my gosh. The next one was also in my last monthly favorite. And that's the paper mache M. You guys know. This was made by my best friend, and this is going to be in my monthly favorites from now. It's going to be in my every single one of my monthly favorites. Because that's how much I love this thing. Like... Every time I look at this, I think I am so lucky to have my best friend in my life. Because she and I are like the, are like two peas in a pod. Me and her are always with each other. Like, if you were to come see me, there's chances are I'd be with my best friend, no matter what. But yeah, she put all my favorite things, like books, YouTube, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, music. She put down that we were for BFFs, and it's true. But yeah, this is gonna be my monthly favorites from every single every single video of my monthly favorites. Um, oh, yeah, this one. This next one, you guys probably seen it or probably have one yourself. But that's the two tone sequin pillow. 
and uh, <laughs> I'm just like over here in the corner. But yeah, like, look at that. Tell me that's not soothing or mesmerizing, whatever. One of the two. I got that for Easter, and I am obsessed with it. 30 minutes, holy cow. Watch it, because I mean, it's going to be turned into one hour. That, it's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, I'm just in love with this thing. Okay, I need to stop talking about it, otherwise I'm just going to be like messing with it the whole time. It's just, you need to focus yourself, girly. Uh, what's next? Okay, back to like somewhat well, healthy stuff, I guess you would say. Um, and that's water. In my last monthly favorites, I was having an ant issue, which is from now on, which is really on that, which is taken care of. It's because I had water in, well, not water. I had popping this the night before I filmed that video, and that's what the ants were looking for. I mean, but yeah, it just says hashtag I love makeup. It's just, it's amazing. Um, next up, jewelry. Um, the first one, I'm actually wearing one of them today, and that's this ruby heart necklace. Like, tell me that is not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. I mean, like, look how beautiful that is. I got it for Easter also. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form, I promise you. Um, the next one is a choker that I got from the 21. It's this mood changing choker. And, uh, that's what it looks like. It looks rainbowy on camera because it, I haven't wore it in a while. So that's why it looks different. But if I do wear it, it's like a dark blue. Because I really, I really don't feel that much emotions when I wear that thing. Um, um, uh, up next is like a somewhat jewelry kind of item. It's, it's this music note bro brooch, brooch? brooch I think it's called a brooch I don't know I can't say the names but like I am in love with this thing I'm like this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen I got one from me and Crystal and she and I are in love with them it just oh my gosh I freaking love this I'm like tell me like look me in the eyes and tell me that's not beautiful which is, ugh, I'm not gonna stop, shut up about it. Um, this next one is like a pin for band members. From where we go to a little band festival, which I'm not gonna say the name of because privacy, privacy reasons. But it's it says, I play trumpet. What's your superpower? And it's just like, look at that. Because you guys know I'm in my school marching band and I play trumpet. And I figured, oh, this is perfect for me. And it's just, oh my gosh. Uh, next up is my a hairbrush. I have, like, I need to get rid of so many of my hairbrushes. It's just like, I have so many of them and I don't even use. It's just, but it's the Wet Brush Pro hairbrush. And my hair, I was, like, getting my ends, my, my, my hair trimmed, which... It doesn't really look like I got it trimmed, except for that side, which are my bangs. But I was getting my hair trimmed, and she's like, oh, you need to use this. Like, So I got the purple one, and my mom got the pink one, and there's like stuff on the back of my hairbrush. I don't know what it is, but it's just it's so amazing. Like, look at that. I'll, you, probably, you guys are probably wondering, well, why didn't you get pink? Your room's pink. I'm like, and I decided to get purple because purple is my second favorite color aside from pink. So, yeah. Love this thing. Uh, what's next? I guess. My Bob Evans Fireside Candle. This thing smells amazing. It just it smells like the outdoors. It smells like stuff, like, smells like something like a fire burning. Yes, oh my gosh. Next up is this cute little K I got from Rue 21. Now it was supposed to light up, but it doesn't. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it was like people were it was open when I got it. And it like 
Luckily for me and my mom, we got a discount on this thing because it wasn't supposed to be out of the box. Because apparently someone decided to open it. So I'm thinking that's why like it's not turning on. Because someone like broke it. And um, so now it won't work right. Uh, what's next? Oh yeah. The next item is on is my phone case. And it's the Mophie phone case in the shade black. Because black matches my soul. I think black matches a lot of people's souls nowadays. But yeah, if you guys guys don't know what a Mophie phone case is, it's a phone case that charges your phone if you don't have your charger on like, like me. Because before I got this, I always, like when I would stay after school, I always had to pack my charger with me. Like it would be in my bag. So, um, my mom got me this for Easter and it was just up. Uh, also, let me know in the comments if you guys want an updated um, phone, like an updated what's on my iPhone video, because I will um, gladly do it. <clears throat> but that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so, so, so much. Um, leave a like down below, and uh, don't forget to comment, comment this video if you guys want more videos like this. And my next video will hopefully be... A, um, a school emergency kit and a what's on my book in my book bag and I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe to join my crazy family and I will see you guys in my next video bye